Montel Williams, the former TV talk show host, is opening a medical pot shop in Sacramento. My mother and my father would be willing to walk up to the front door in and walk into. He says it's a place that his mom and dad would walk into. Williams says his pot shop caters to a new crowd of medical marijuana users. Good evening, I'm Sam Shane. And I'm Colleen Sullivan. Derek Shore is live in Midtown Sacramento with the first step of what could be a new empire for the former talk show host. Derek? this medical marijuana dispensary here in Midtown, but there is plenty of security. You can see even a metal detector here in the front door, and it's not just because a familiar name is behind this one. Welcome, welcome, and thank you so much for joining us today. Montel Williams spent years as a face of daytime talk, but after 17 years on the air... Welcome to Abaden. Montel has taken on a new venture right here in Sacramento. I utilize medicinal cannabis for medication. The longtime user of medical marijuana has suffered from multiple sclerosis for years. I suffer from pain. It doesn't matter where it is. I suffer from pain. And after years of buying his supply from ratty dispensaries, he saw a need for something better. You see people standing around sticking their nose and things, picking up things with their fingers. I don't walk into to CVS and pick up an individual uh, Vicodin. So today, this is what we have, a labor of love, beautiful tile, stone countertops, and a building that looks more like an office for a high-end plastic surgeon. But why the capital city? Why not come to where the home of where the movement began? It was here in Sacramento. Now patients will get medical marijuana in a brand new setting, where there's no medication out in glass cases. Instead, the goods will be dispensed through a controlled window and only after talking to a pot advisor. Why are we treating patients who seek out this medication like they're some lesser member of society? He says not anymore, and Sacramento will lead the way. To see if we could set a standard not just for Sacramento, not just for California, not just for the other 16 states that have allowed it now in the District of Columbia, but also for the world. And as I mentioned, there are no signs here, but you can actually kind of smell some of the merchandise inside if you're just standing right here. I should mention that Montel does not actually own this uh, medical marijuana dispensary. He's working as a consultant in hopes of opening others around the nation. He actually uh, still is, is working on doing that, but this will be the first. All right, Derek, thank you. Just blocks away, another pot shop in Midtown Sacramento was hit by thieves.